Well, if you're like me and you want to try to deck out your entire home in smart home equipment, but you don't want to break the bank, today's video is for you. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Well, I had my old home completely set up with smart homes and bulbs and all the whole nine yards, but I moved to a new home and now I want to set up my brand new home with as much smart home equipment as I can, but I don't have that kind of money like I spent in my last one, so what do I do? Honestly, that's where the folks from Lutron come into play because a lot of their smart home stuff doesn't break the bank and it makes it super easy to install. So today's video, is a conversation around Lutron products and all the ones that I got. So let me show you how to deck out your home in smart home equipment. Big shout out to the folks over at Lutron for sending over a small care package where I could show you exactly how to set this up. Now this is just one example of what I've done, but ultimately there's so many different combinations that you can come up with. And ironically enough, I went into my local Home Depot and found that Lutron was there. So the cool thing about the Lutron products is the idea that you can pick them up at your local hardware store like a Lowe's or a Home Depot, and they immediately work with Alexa or Google Assistant. So I'm gonna show you how I use mine with the Google Assistant. So I mentioned it before, I have a ton of those Philips Hue smart bulbs, but I get really annoyed when people in my house, <coughs> my kids, will flip the light switch on and off, that way I can't control my lights with my voice. So that's where the Lutron Aurora comes in and the installation on this thing was a breeze. As you can see right here in the video, it's this little small button that goes over top of the light switch so you can't flip it on and off. It's actually just a push button. The cool thing about this is if the kids wanna turn off the light without flipping the light switch off, they press the button, the lights go out, but then I get to use my voice to turn them back on. So I don't have to worry about lights on, lights off. It's a very simple setup. You basically put this little hardware piece over it, the button snaps onto it, you program that through your Google Home app after you set up your Lutron account, and that's it. It's all synced together because I use the Wi-Fi, same Wi-Fi that I had before. This thing was probably five minutes max on the setup time when it comes to setting these types of things up. So if you have smart bulbs throughout your house and you get annoyed as well by people flipping the light switch on and off, this, that's a no brainer. Now the next thing that Lutron sent over was this whole wireless setup. Now this particular thing is the Caseta Wireless Dimmer Kit and Smart Bridge. So it does have a very similar Smart Bridge to that of the Philips Hue. But the idea behind this is I have a dimmer switch, I have a remote that I can turn the light on and light off. I have the bridge in case I wanna set up more Lutron products, as well as the Lutron app. So in this particular home that I have, for whatever reason, and I don't know this, uh, the light switch to turn the basement lights off are only at the bottom, at the stairs. Like I don't really understand, there's no switch at the top to turn the light switch off for the basement, which I think is a little bit weird, but don't worry, this is where Lutron comes in. And so what I found at my local Home Depot was this guy right here. This is a wall plate bracket. So effectively what I'm doing is, is taking the remote that I have in this wireless setup, putting it at the top of the stairs. That way I have a switch at the top and the bottom, as well as the ability to control this with my voice. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let me show you exactly how to install this stuff. You can see right here, it's just your standard outlet that you would normally install, like a regular toggle switch on off, uh, hot, cold, neutral. If you're an electrician, even with a little bit of electrical knowledge, this is super easy. Fun fact, Stats joined me in this particular video. And if you don't know Stats, check out our live shows on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And he can tell you exactly all these little interesting statistics. But Stats was over here helping me try to install this and he shocked himself with a little bit of 120. It's okay, it grew a little hair on his chest. He was completely fine. I love this setup. It is super clean, super nice. I can make the lights dim. I can make the lights not dim. I can turn them on and off with my voice or the button. Now moving on to this little wall plate. Basically, I just measured where I wanted the wall plate to go, put it against the other light switch, screwed it into the wall, programmed the remote straight through the Google Home app, and that was it. Again, once you have this all set up in your Google Home app through Lutron, you just basically create your Lutron account, then you link that straight to your Google Home account, and that's it. In just about mm, one hour's worth of time, basically going to the store, getting things like this, uninstalling outlets, reinstalling outlets, and also putting the button on, I have two rooms that are completely smart home enabled for really less than 75 bucks. So the idea that I can control 
all of these lights with my voice is absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for a way to utilize the lights that you already have, you don't wanna buy any type of light bulbs, you don't wanna buy anything like that, go out, look at Lutron right now, and I will leave a link in the description below for everything that I have. But again, huge shout out to Lutron for sending this stuff over. I started to get some smart home stuff going. I absolutely love it. So that's all I have for today. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.